you can track it even in space. And that is the goal of these students from Ingleboro Public School in Brampton to launch and track this balloon into the stratosphere. The weather balloon is going to go into the stratosphere. It's going to expand to about 30 feet. So right now you can see it's about 6 feet in circumference. Uh, it's going to expand to about 30 feet, pop, and come back down, hopefully in a location we can get it from. <laughs> It's a science project that allowed the kids hands-on learning by designing, building and paying for the weather balloon that they hoped would fly to 90,000 feet. The balloon was equipped with tracking equipment as well as a video camera, but very early on the students learned one other important lesson that in science experiments don't always work on your first attempt. It, uh, it, it went across the waves too much, it fell and it, it ended up in the trees. But like true scientists, they tried a second launch and this one went up, up and away. It took off beautifully well, it cleared the clouds and we're packing up to chase it. Staff first came up with the idea for this hands-on learning for the kids after hearing about two teens who sent a Lego man into space. They were hoping to capture similar video. Well, two hours and nearly 100 kilometers later, we know it's landed and it's about 200 meters that way. The onboard GPS tracked the balloon all the way from Mount Forest, where it was launched, to North Richmond Hill, where it landed. Where's the payload? Oh, the payload's on the ground. <laughs> Huge accomplishment for the kids and the school. But there would be one disappointment. The onboard video camera didn't work. I think they'll still be so excited that they got this experience. So the lesson here definitely with science is try, try again. And the students and staff will be relaunching a second balloon in the future. In Richmond Hill, Audra Brown, City News.